all right so hello everyone and welcome to coders daily and uh, i am back uh, with yet another video which is uh, the digit frequency solution in hacker rank c problems right so this problem has a point value of 25 right so it comes under maybe a medium category of uh, problem so let's just start with uh, the problem solution and reading the problem statement okay so from here let's just start given a string s containing uh like given a string s consisting of alphabets and digits find the frequency of each digit in the given string all right so what we need to do is we need to find frequency of each string the first line contains a string number which is given is which is given number all the elements of number are made up of english alphabets and digits all right so what exactly we are getting is we are getting uh, a string basically which is uh, which has the values of both alphabets and numeric values what we need to do is like uh, what is the statement is asking us is ki uh, using this particular thing using this particular string we need to give count of values between 0 to 9 all right so let's let me create it once for you so let's just say these are the numbers between 0 to 9 so what we need to do is we need to find each one of them in this particular string which they have given right so let's just say zero so zero is not present in this particular string so the count of zero is zero then one is coming two times so the count of one is two two is coming again one time so one three is not present in this particular string so zero four again one time five again one time six again one time all right and seven again one time and eight and nine are zero zero all right so this is what we need to do so they'll again and again give us a string and we need to find the count of each number between 0 to 9 from that particular string that is the catch we need to find between 0 to 9 but from that particular string okay if you got this particular thing then it this problem is very easy right so let's just jump into the problem statement and like like let's start creating the code all right so starting with i'm just creating an character array which has a character storage value of thousand right uh, why i'm writing thousand because over here they have mentioned that the value or length won't be greater than thousand okay so i have taken the maximum value then what we need to do is we need to store the frequency of each number between 0 to 10 so again i'll need an array but the size of that particular array won't be greater than 10 because at max i can store the count of number 0 to 9 and they are 10 so i'm creating again an array uh, or you can say an uh, a frequency array whose maximum size would be 10 and i'm just initiating it with a zero all right after that what i'm doing is i'm creating a scan f to store the string which we'll be getting as an input so percentage uh, this we write slash n so that like let's just say whenever there is a new line uh, we'll just stop the usage or we'll just start uh, stop the input of that particular string okay so our scanf is completed now what i'll do is i'll create a for loop which will obviously start from zero as usual and it will go till length of this particular so i'm using str length function and inside this i'm writing the string which we have taken as an input and again i plus plus now over here what i want to check is key the number should be between zero and nine right so what i need to do is if i is or what I can say is s of i is greater than or equals to zero and s of i the number inside the string is less than or equals to nine right so we need to only consider numbers in this particular code which lies between zero and nine but I have written over here zero as a number which is not true because we'll be getting the numbers in the form of strings so I need to convert the zero and nine into the string values all right now here is the catch just look at this very carefully what i am doing over here is that i am creating a frequency array s of i minus zero and plus plus right 
so this is very important thing what i am doing over here is right let's just let me just explain it to you once okay what does this particular thing means frequency of s of i minus zero right so i'll again just redo it okay frequency of s of i minus zero so let's just say frequency is our array where we are going to store the count of each particular number right so let's just say the value of i is the value of i is zero okay what is the value of i zero so s of i would be s of zero right so let's just consider this test case s of zero is a right so a does not lie between zero and nine so we'll just skip this part then let's just say s of one i's value is one right so in this case what will happen is we'll get the number as one okay so we'll insert or we will get inside this if condition now here's the catch what will frequency array would look like frequency of s of i s of i is obviously one which is a string value minus zero plus plus okay so what this particular thing do is one minus zero when you write something when you write something in c plus plus in the form of strings which are numbers so let's just say this is the number right i'm writing one minus zero so what it will give me is it will give me the exact difference in the numeric value right so what i'll get from one minus zero is one so let's just say if the value of what i'll do is two minus zero so it will give me a number as two so this is a trick which you can use to increment the count of array without just creating a complete new loop so it will help you from creating multiple loops right so if if i have to do this count increment uh separately so what i need to do is i need to create again a loop which will again increase my time consumption and my time complexity will go up memory consumption will grow up and my solution would not be that perfect so this is a trick which you can use to increment it now let's just consider what is happening over here so let's just say one minus zero is one so what i'll do is if i find any one so what i'll do is because i have initialized the whole array with zero so initial initially all the values all the 10 uh positions would have value as zero and if i do plus plus so what it will do is it will increment the value of zero to plus one right similarly if i'll again get frequency of one it will again increment it so this is a very dynamic way of doing or incrementing the value inside an array without creating a loop so i hope this was clear to you let's move forward <laughs> there is one more loop which we need to create so that we can print the output so to do that what i'll do is i'll again create a loop for int i equals to zero i is less than 10 i plus plus right and inside that what i'll do is i'll create a printf percentage d with a space with a space because they want us to print everything with a space okay and comma frequency of i all right so this is what is the complete solution it will look like this so i'll just try to run this code once all right so all our test cases are passing i'll just submit this code so here we go all our test cases are passing and we have got plus 25 marks again uh, for this solution so i hope this uh, video was helpful to you guys and if this video has helped you in a, any way like maybe if you have learned any new skill any new technique please do like subscribe to the channel coders daily thank you so much for watching